What's going on guys? My name is Jamie. Today we have my Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II X in my hand. I'm currently shooting in the S5 and we have a whole bunch of small rig accessories for the S5 Mark II X and S5 Mark II. So I ordered this cage back in January. It arrived three weeks later and my camera didn't arrive for another five. So it sat on my shelf for quite some time and I'm like, okay, one day I'll be able to put this on my camera. As soon as it arrived though, for you S5 users currently, I tried to put it on my S5 and the answer is it will not fit. So if you guys were hoping that this cage would fit on your S5, it will not. That being said, let's open this box and I'll show you guys what comes in it and what it looks like. On the top part, we got the HDMI and USB-C clamp. Get the cage itself and we get the handle one thing i really like about the design of this cage is the allen key position at the bottom held on by magnets there's two locking pins on the side of this cage next we take the camera and the cage put them together Then you take your locking pins. Going one way. One here. And you got one on the opposite side. That's tight. And this one. And then go underneath the camera. Get your big one here. And then you put your Allen key back in its storage area. Like that. You're good to go. So then next you have your handle. You can either mount it to the top like this, or before when I didn't have the side handle, I was using it on the side. So all you'd have to do is just adjust that around. You see the two holes, you can just spin it around. And I had it mounted like this. So then I was holding my camera, filming, just like that. The last piece to this kit is the USB-C HDMI clamp. That is included. And it just goes on the bottom, just like that. So when you got your cables in, you can just plug them into the support. Slide the piece over, tighten it up. And it's in there. The very first accessory that I bought for this cage was the side handle. With this handle, you can adjust the height by adjusting the screws on the inside. So if you want it higher, you can have it higher. If you want it lower, you can have it lower. One of the nice things about the side handle, underneath comes with an Allen key. Again, attached by magnets, pull it out. Once you're done making your adjustments or anything else in the camera, Put it back in the hole. The two magnets here, we'll keep it in place. So next we have the small rig SSD mount. I have the T7 shield and I have the regular T7. Make sure the USB slot is facing forward to this. So here I'll show you that they fit both. Slide it in like this. There's your clamp. You put your USB-C. You adjust your clamp to where you need it. And then it's tight and that's not coming out. T7 shield is a little bit bigger around just because of the padding, as you can see, but it does fit. It's just a little stiffer. Slide into place, connect your cable, bind it up, and then you have it. So now we're gonna attach the SSD mount to the cage. I like to have mine like this on top. Plug in your USB C, and then you come down below, and you tighten the USB C as well. There we go. 
and like that we have the rig set up so this is my everyday shoot if i'm going out if i need to hold the handle it's not too heavy so when i'm live streaming with this camera i'll take the handle off and unplug the USB-C, ssd all that this will come off i will attach the small rig power bank adapter and i'll set it up just like this slide into place clamp it down then i'll run the cable around the back flip it in and we're charging red lights on so the nice thing about this cage is the position of the cold shoe mount for your microphone because it's over a dial i don't use versus sitting back further or on this side so now you have the whole setup so you're ready to go so you can shoot you can shoot video you got your shotgun mic or you have your wireless set up thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video do me a favor hit that subscribe button if you guys are going to get this cage or you have it let me know in the comments below what accessories do you have on it what do you like about this cage what do you not like about this cage let me know in the comments i will see you guys on the next video